Hey everyone, this is Hollander Cooper with GamesRadar.com at a Wii U event checking out Nintendo TV. TVII. TVII. Looks like me, looks like Wii, Nintendo TV. Yeah, I'm here with some uh, fine folks from Nintendo. Can you introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Casey with uh, Nintendo of America. All right, and? Doug with Nintendo. All right, cool. So yeah, we're going to check out Nintendo TV, which is uh, just announced today and looks really cool. So can you run us through it? Absolutely. So here we'll start off in your favorites tab. And we're looking at some profiles. Like here's a profile for mom. Now the Wii U will be able to hold 12 different profiles. And when you first set up Nintendo TV, you'll go in, create your profile, and you'll start to pick shows and genres that are your favorites. And once you've done that, you'll actually be able to send those shows as recommendations to other people in your family or friends as well. There's also a tab here for family. So it will show all the shows that people in the family have liked and put a list of shows that will be fun for the whole family to watch together. Downton Abbey, fun for the whole family. You can imagine, uh, you know, a family sitting down and they can't find something to watch. You, s you put it into your account system here. You can see all everyone's favorite shows, and then the family tab has everyone's shows kind of listed together. So it just makes it really easy to find something. You click on it, it launches right into it. Now, the thing that looks like it, that makes this different from other similar services is the fact that not only are you pulling in your Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime, but you're also pulling in your cable television and your TiVo. How does that actually work? So, um, yeah, th that, that is the, the key differentiator for Nintendo TV. So it's your, your cable subscription, any VOD subscription you have, and then content from a DVR, all accessible with one interface. Um, so when you log in, when you open your account, you signify which cable provider you have access to, which cable package you have, which VOD partners you, or which VOD companies you work with, and um, you put in your subscription info, enter in your DVR information, and then it all appears in one screen. All right, and you'll be able to, from here, like just hit a button and jump right into watching a TV show? Absolutely, absolutely. So you know, when we talk about Nintendo TV, we, we really kind of put three main categories. There's the find, which is how you find a program, and we talked about having all of your content sources available from one place. Talking about watch, which when the gamepad becomes a controller, so you can launch into programs directly by hitting a button on the gamepad. And then also there's an engage function, where within the Nintendo TV and Wii U community, including Facebook and, and Twitter integration as well, you can comment on specific shows and comment on moments as they happen. So you can think about when you're watching a, a football game, there's an interception or a home run in a baseball game. You can go into that moment specifically and comment with your friends and have that deeper kind of social interaction. So find how you find a program, watch how you launch into it using the gamepad as a remote and then engage, engaging with your friends on that deep level. Awesome, and it looks like there were images being shown in that same thing. Are you able to essentially grab like a still, uh, still image of it to tag along with your post? Well, no. So the the what what is happening here is that uh, we, as the TV show happens live, we are actually capturing individual moments within that program. So it kind of breaks it down by any kind of big moment. So we're looking at a, a Modern Family episode here, and it kind of goes block by block. And there's the moment where there's the big reveal and she pulls off the thing and the guy's underneath. That becomes a moment that is captured within Nintendo TV and then you can interact right within that moment. So that's what, that's what we're seeing here is the show, each big moment that happens. And you can imagine in a, in a comedy like this where you're maybe a little bit more engaged, uh, you can comment on, is, isn't that funny? I can't believe that happened. In a sports game, a big moment that happens. So it captured these moments and then you can comment on them as they happen. So is it up to Nintendo to go through these episodes and tag them, or this, is this going to be supplied by the uh, television channels themselves? It's a, it's a combination. There is some technology in here, which we're going to reveal details on that closer to launch, some really cool stuff that we're creating with our partner iDotTV. Some of it is going to be, uh, so it's, some of it is automated. There's going to be some human interaction as well. So it's a, it's a combination, and we'll talk about our methodology closer to launch. But the, the main message is that key moments are captured and then you can engage with your friends as they happen. Any plans to partner with a American Idol style show so that you just vote straight from your Wii U gamepad? You know, that, that type of thing is certainly possible. You know, we don't have plans or anything we're revealing today and a lot of that will be up to the content owner and that, that show to figure out how they want to do a deeper integration with, uh, with Nintendo TV. Certainly things like a poll or any of that type of interaction within the community is absolutely possible um, and you know Something like a American Idol, that's a great example of that live moment where people are commenting on. And so um, we're going to see a lot of information 
on this last page here, you saw on the top row here, you see all this information that's being pulled automatically onto the gamepad as you're watching a show. So this has show information, cast information, you can go into IMDb, go into Wikipedia. All that happens without any kind of manual searching by the user. So you have that wealth of information at your fingertips. So something like an American Idol taking advantage of that, you could see how that's a platform for that type of opportunity. Sure, and it also, uh, how does the Wikipedia support and IMD support work? Does it automatically just pull things out of it based on the shows? Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a technical language that I don't speak that I, if, you, if you need that sort of language, I can certainly get it for you. But basically, all I know from a user experience standpoint is I start watching the show and that information appears. That's all we need to know. And uh, also, I saw a TiVo pop up there. Are there plans to bring in other DVR partners like Comcast's built-in DVR? You know, we're, we're in conversations with every cable provider. We're talking to entertainment companies. So what we're announcing today is that we have TiVo integration. So, um, and we're hoping that, you know, as this system progresses and once people get their hands on Star Planet, we'll have more deals to announce, more integration. But a key thing to think about when with Comcast is that if you have a Comcast subscription and that's your cable provider, that information will appear automatically with no setup required. If you wanted to be able to access your DVR or some other content, that would require a deeper integration. We're in talks with companies like Comcast to allow that, but out of the gate, your cable channels will appear with your VOD services right from the start. That's all that matters. Thank you very much. Thank you, man.